Thank you so much, dear students. Can I request the, the Dr. Maheshwari, if you please switch on the <coughs> my presentation. Namaskar and a very good morning, good afternoon to one and all present over here. Respected Professor Gagandeep Sharma, Professor, School of Management Studies, GDSIP, Sri Ashok Pradhanji, Director, Delhi Kendra, and the uh, um, the uh, President of Bharti Vidya Bhavan College and BLMC, Sri Rajesh Mishra, Distra, Bharti Vidya Bhavan, Delhi Kendra, Sri Vidya Bharatwar, Chukti Vidya Bharti Vidya Bhavan, Delhi Kendra, uh, Dr. CPRA, Dr. A.K. Sharma, Dr. Chandra Shekhar, and uh, our administrative officer, dean, SODs, faculty members, and dear students. I stand before you with a profound sense of purpose and gratitude as we gather in this esteemed institution of higher education where the pursuit of knowledge knows no bounds. Higher education is not merely a privilege. It is a transformative force that shapes individuals and societies. It is a beacon of hope, a catalyst of change, and a cornerstone of progress. So basically, college education is not just about textbooks and classrooms and assignments and projects. It is an immersive experience that hones the character, instills values, and nurtures a sense of responsibility towards our fellow human beings. It is here that the friendships are forged, lifelong lessons are learned outside the classroom and inside the classroom. Let us remember that we are not here only to earn degrees. Degrees are incidental. We are here to become full developed persons who will shape the, uh, the future of our nation as well as future societies. In Bharti Vidya Pramal, it is with this purpose that we, uh, we have started these two colleges. And our uh, basic aim is to instill age old Indian values and ethos, recognizing their enduring relevance in today's dynamic world. And these values serve as a moral compass, guiding our actions and decisions in an ever evolving society. We are also committed to staying at the forefront of knowledge as far as all the development in the different fields are concerned, especially the ICT revolution, uh, AI, and its usage in our respective fields. So uh, it's our endeavor to, to you know, prepare our students for the future and they become uh, citizens of the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate goal of higher education is to bring out the best in every individual and it is through these, uh, this basic objective and vision that BLMC as well as BBPC are forging ahead and uh, on this auspicious occasion of the 7th Foundation Day of BLMC and 1st Foundation Day of BBPC, I stand here as the Dean Academics and it's my proud privilege to be uh, presenting to you the, uh, the annual report for both the colleges. Uh, so we can see that on, on the screen. The party with your government has been already covered by our comparing team, so I will not be touching upon uh, party with your government and speaking for a lot. Just a very brief, and since we're already uh, running past you, Bhavan has been, uh, you know, blessed or that has been awarded with many distinct recognitions, prominent among them being the Rajiv Gandhi Award for National Integration, Communal Harmony Award, International Gandhi Peace Prize, and it is also recognized as an institution of national eminence with a status which is given to very few uh, educational institutions all over the country. Next, please. Next. So, Bhatta Vidya Bhavan, uh, our college started BLMC in 2016 and we have at present two courses that is BN and DLN affiliated to IT University and uh, SCERT. Uh, this college started is named after late, uh, late Shrimati Lilavati Munshiji, who was wife of. Dr. K. N. Munshi and this uh, the vision of the college is presented on the screen, which has also been uh, shared by our comparing team. Next, please. We have no management quota seats. Hundred percent is uh, admissions are through the IT University and SCERT. Next, uh, Bharti Vidya Bhavan College started in the year 2022, and we have just completed our first year. We have four courses at present, and we are in the expansion mode. We hope to add on more courses in the coming future. Next. The vision of the college is to foster excellence through multidisciplinary education rooted in the in old age Indian values while staying attuned to the latest advancement with ICT intervention to bring out the best in each individual for a well developed person, thereby contributing to the development of overall Indian society. Next please. Here also we do have management quota fees. We have selected all the fees. 
Now, uh, this college is basically or institution Bharti Vidyavaman is rooted in the Indian ethos and culture. We promote Indian values. Our core values happen to be Atma Bhadra, Tatva Yantu Vishwata, which is a saying uh, from the Rig Veda. Uh, next, please. And uh, it means that noble thoughts come to us from every side. And Vasudha Kutumkam is another very long standing uh, ideal of Bhavan. And it is uh, during G20, everybody has heard about Vasudha Kutumkam. But Bhavan has been working for and attaining, uh, working towards attaining the ideal of Vasudha Kutumkam since its inception. These are the other uh, you know, values which we stand for. Okay, next. Uh, I am happy to share that in all these on these years, our colleges have been continuously getting aid paid from the Joint Assessment Committee constituted by the IP University and uh, the Directorate of Higher Education. Next. Glimpses of life, I'll be very briefly presenting the kind of activities and the kind of life which students have over here. Our endeavor is to provide a best kind of all different kinds of experiences to, to our students so that they are able to you know, shape up their personality. So we celebrated our last foundation day on 7th of November. We had, uh, we had Sri Manoj Kumar, uh, who was a retired I IAS officer, who was advisor to the Honorable Vice Chancellor of GDS IPU as the Chief Guest. And he spoke on NEP 2020, Teacher Student Relationship and Motivation. Next, please. We had a national conference on NEP 2020 as an amalgamation of tradition and modernity. On 5th September last year, in association with, and this event was sponsored by IIAS Shimla. So, we had Chief Guest as Professor Nageshwar Rao, the Vice Chancellor of IGNU, and also the Director of IIAS, Professor Shashi Prabhakumar, President of IIAS Shimla, and also the Dean of Sanskrit uh, Mahavidyalaya in Bhavan. And they were total, we had a very good response. Total number of 20 papers were presented and 12 posters were presented during the event. Next, please. Diwali Mela was an endeavor totally of the students, for the students, and by the students. Last year, it happened on 21st May, or oh, sorry, October. This, I think on Friday, it was planned. I don't know with the status of pollution going on here, but yes, uh, the event planned totally by the students. Next, please. Uh, we, for the students of BVDC, uh, the webinar on Printech was organized on 21st of October. Next, please. 14th Sangeet Samaro on 6th of November, where again we have invited very eminent music personalities uh, from all over the country. Next, please. Uh, uh, the colleges, both the colleges are, have their own separate houses and separate, um, you can say, clubs. And as part of their different club activities, Sydney Day was celebrated, where students presented various aspects of the thing. Next, please. Gandhi Jayanti Samaro on 7th of December. Next. Uh, not Gandhi, it was Gita, Gita Jayanti. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, Gita Jayanti, yes. Next, please. Uh, 136 founder's birthday, Dr. K. M. Munshi's birthday, was celebrated on 30th December with the inauguration of Bharti Vidya Bhavan Sports Ground here. And as a chief guest, we have Professor Manesh Verma, Honorable Vice Chancellor of IP University. Next. We also, keeping in mind the rising mental issue, health issues among adolescents and young adults, we are colleges providing more awareness towards the solving of those mental issues. So one day seminar on adolescent issues and mental health was organized in 10th of January. And we had uh, two, it was divided, one day even divided into two sessions. Chief guest was Professor Dhanishwar Mishra, former Vice Chancellor of Mahatma Gandhi and the Rashtra Hindi Vishwa Vidyalaya and also retired professor from University of Delhi Psychology Department. And keynote speaker was Professor Rasna Jodi, Director of Center of Psychotherapy and Clinical Research, Ambedkar University. The second session was taken up by two prominent uh, counselors, Dr. JNT Benerji, psychologist from Mothers International, and Dr. Gitanjali uh, Kumar. Next, please. We, Bhavan's uh, uh, Delhi Kendra celebrated Festival of Indian Classical Music, a seven day program from 4th to 10th of February, wherein prominent or the upcoming artists from various art forms they were invited, and it was this program was held in this hall itself. Next, please. Bhavan uh, Samadhan was we organized an, an annual inter college festival with the theme Vasudev Sotamuka. So different colleges participated and competed for different events were there. 
for example solo singing gopan solo dancing you can go the you know etc okay next please sanskritic samagram our annual cultural program was celebrated on 27th of april where the students of arun college uh, showcased their talents depicting various classical semi classical and folk uh, and folk uh, idols a uh, chief guest for the occasion was acharya jayalakshmi ishwar a noted uh, bharatnatyam dancer and she is also the head of the Depart bharatnatyam department trivedi kala sangam next uh, we the colleges organized another national conference in during the year academic year that is on 19th of may on the theme celebrating diversity and embracing inclusion realizing the ideals of vasudev kutumbakam these were various activities which were celebrated as part of the g20 initiatives by the college then in, in the inaugural session the, uh, the, the chief guest was professor dilishwar mishra uh, the guest of we had three guests of honor professor pankaj arora from uh, helen dean uh, university of delhi uh, institute of central institute of education Senior Professor D. P. O. Bhalla, former head and dean of music department, Delhi University, and Professor Vivek Sachdeva, head and dean of University School of Education and Social Sciences, I. P. University. In during the valedictory session, we had Professor C. D. Sharma, School of Education, Indo, and former chairperson N. I. O. S. And Dr. Shashi Bala, a renowned Indologist and also the dean of Center of Indology, Bhavnagar, Delhi, Kerala. So this was also we had a lot of paper presentations and poster presentations. Now some of the prominent international collaborations we had a student cultural exchange program with the uh, FS Vorarlberg University Austria. It was a 10 days program from 4 to 14 of September where our students from both the colleges participated, and we had faculty members from this university, uh, FHB University, and students were there, and our students they were collaboratively working on various aspects of cultural themes. Next, please. One of uh, the faculty member, Ms. Ms. Vanessa Pesle, gave a talk on it's not what you say, but how you say it, a very informative talk on communication skills. Next, please. We also, uh, okay, yes, we, as a part of developing a, a comprehensive mental health program, we have signed an MOU with the Knowledge Bridge Services, a company based in New Jersey, USA, for counseling services. And as a part of this, uh, our renowned counselor, Ms. Venus, visiting amongst us here, is visiting the colleges to twice, twice in a week and taking care of all the student issues on remediation as well as on preventive basis. Okay, next, please. Uh, we are also in the final round of talks and signing the MOU with the Cambridge University Press and Assessment for starting off English language courses for betterment of communication skills and personality development among our students. Next. We had a Teachers Day celebration on 5th September, wherein we invited Professor Shashi Prabha Kumar, a noted, very well acclaimed Sanskrit scholar and dean of uh, uh, Sanskrit Mahavidyale. Next. Uh, we have Kavi Sammelan held on uh, 13th of September last year. Sorry, this year itself. Next, please. Workshops on mind mindfulness. Mindfulness is considered to be a very comprehensive uh, mindset these days. A lot of focus is being done based on it as part of contemplative educational practices. So I have taken the session both for the UBC as well as BNC students. Next, please. Mental Health Awareness Week was also observed from 10th of October to 13th of October uh, this year. Next, International Girl Child Day was also celebrated on 11th of October. Next, uh, Bhavan Sparda, that is every year we have a sports day and which is named Sparda, students participating in various sport events. Next. Uh, we also participated in the IP University events, the sports competition as well as the Anuguj. So these are students participating. Next, please. So and also in addition to this wide range of art and craft activities and workshops, and this is the actual work done by our students here. Next, please. Next. Farewell. We have even like farewell. Okay, next. Uh, and there are, these are some of the co-curricular activities which are a very regular part of our uh, school students' college life here, talent fund, treasures, farewell, solo and group competitions, and various, uh, you know, individual and group, uh, you know, collaborative events. Next. 
is it some excursions? We can, I think, move on quite very fast because we are running out of time. So, a national excursion uh, in National Science Center next. Excursion in National Museum on 8th July, Lotus Temple, uh, Suraj Kun Crafts Mela, Archaeological Park, EOD Adventure, if not the picnic. Uh, industry visit to Khadi and Village Industries Commission, students of DBDC and there. Some of the special lectures here, prominent ones. Next. Next. So, special lecture by Padma Sri uh, uh, Shohana Narayanji on multidisciplinary nature of dance. Uh, for the benefit of special lecture on emotions and light by Professor Girish Mishra. Next. Rally and panel discussion walking towards inclusion, where uh, Srimati Minakshi Lekhi, the Honorable Minister of State for Culture, was invited to the chief guest. Next. Uh, special, this event was, that event was organized by Delhi Kendra. Special lecture by Dr. G. B. Subramaniam, who is the director of Bhavan's Kolkata Kendra and Agatala Kendra on the topic Rivers Never Go Rivers. Next. Uh, film festival, uh, uh, we we invited Dr. Mutura Durasia and he gave a talk on reading film at the text. Okay, uh, he is from I, uh, from uh, Delhi University. Dr. Anthony Shokin from IP University Education Department gave a talk on entrepreneurship and education. Next. Three day workshop on Sahaja Yoga was also held on 26th of April. Next. Uh, session on financial literacy by ICICI Bank. Next. Uh, placements and activities. So, this is another special lecture on unlocking opportunities, creating impact proceedings by Dr. Pranita Gopal. Next, special lecture by PIME. Next, mock interviews by placement cell, where the students were given the exposure of placing the interviews. Next, NSS activities. Our college has a very active NSS uh, cell, and lots of activities are conducted. We can move fast, please. So these are, this is Water Delhi Conservation and Feminist Trial, uh, Yoga and Moraji Desai National Institute of Yoga. Next. These are some of the other activities which were conducted as part of the G20 initiatives. Okay, we can move. Next, please. Anupunj Films, our students participated, both the colleges. Okay, okay. next, please. Interview, yes, our study team, Anapar IT, I know the students are interviewing Yata. On the theme allowing outside food is never and first telepathic or master. Next, please. Now, regarding placement, some of the uh, students, the, the uh, out of photo students who, who graduated in uh, 2023, 95, 32 students are working in different schools, and these are some of the recruiting schools, and number of students of personal higher studies is 43. Next, academic excellence. We come to the academic results. Next, please. Uh, so, uh, comparative analysis of uh, B.Ed and D.L.E. students is given. So, if you look into it, uh, in B.Ed, we had four students, 90 and above, uh, 15 students between 80 to 90 percent, 39 students between 75 to 80 percent, and 37 students uh, between 60 to 75 percent. So, all of them were uh, first division. Whereas in DLA, we had uh, two students between 75 to 80, 34 students between 60 and 75, and uh, four students were placed below 60 percent. Okay, next. <coughs> faculty development. These are some of the faculty, uh, you know, initiatives. Participation, faculty participation in national education summit at the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Next. Uh, this is the release of so when the role of G20 for South South Cooperation at India International Center. Next, National Skill Summit 2023 again at the PhD House. Next, uh, in house faculty development, we have a very interesting faculty development where the faculty members uh, present their own work. Time of PhD work or you have any form of written or uh, published papers. So, and we share each other's learning. So this was a week-long program where each and every faculty member presented an area in which he or she was interested. Okay, next. Uh, yeah, all was no play make everybody a dull person. So we went to a faculty picnic at Sundar Nursery. Next. Faculty achieve, uh, these, this is the BA faculty achievements. All the faculty members here are encouraged to work and pursue their academic uh, endeavors, including research work. So we can see a lot of work has been done. Two of our faculty members have presented, have submitted their PhD thesis in the last week itself. Ms. Namrata and Ms. Him. 
Next, DLS faculty members are also in, almost all the faculty members are working on their PhDs or trying to pursue. Okay, and everybody that has contributed in some way or the other. Next, please. BBBC faculty members. So the, this is the data presented of only the faculty members who were there with us in the last year. This year's faculty members ka data hum include nahi kiya hua hai. But we can see that this one, bhi, uh, all members are actively contributing towards their uh, progression, academic progression as well as their professional development. Next, please. Uh, in the end, uh, this was a brief about. So I would like to uh, present my gratitude to some of the prominent members, all the prominent members of the BBB family. Behind every achievement, there are forces whose dedication, passion, and commitment propel us to move forward. Expressing gratitude is not only a mark of respect, but a celebration of collaborative spirit that fuels our progress. So I would be, I'll be uh, not fulfilling my duties if I do not pay respect and gratitude to the people who have made uh, the working of the college so effortless and so uh, meaningful. On this auspicious occasion, I take, take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude. First of all, to Professor Gabriel Sharma for sparing his time and coming over here and honoring us. I'm sure your perspectives on the team will be very, very fruitful for our students. I'm extremely grateful to Sri Ashok Pradhan, the director of Bharti Vidya Bhavan Delhi Kendra and chairperson of both the colleges, who has consistently demonstrated his insightful vision and propelling the institution to unparalleled heights of academic and professional uh, achievement. Thank you, sir. Mr. A.S. Avasthi is the embodies the essence and spirit of the colleges. He is the advisor to Bhavan Delhi Kendra. He stands as a steadfast pillar and he has been a motivating force and guiding force for us. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Sri Rajesh Mishra, the registrar of Bhavan Delhi Kendra, for his unwavering support and invaluable guidance. Sir, you are undeniably a pillar of strength for the entire family and the benefits of essentially restructuring the restructuring that you have spearheaded will take us in the right direction. Mr. Vijay Bharatwa, the deputy registrar, has played a pivotal role as a facilitator in providing crucial administrative and infrastructural support at all times. So we are very thankful to you, sir. I express my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Shashi Prabha Kumar, the Dean of the Department of Sanskrit Mahavidyalaya, and Dr. Shashi Bala, Dean Center of Indology, for the invaluable guidance and blessings bestowed upon us from time to time. I extend my heartfelt thanks to Dr. Anju Tandon, the principal of Mehta Vidyale, and Dr. Chari Krishna Arya, uh, along with their dedicated staff members. Your consistent presence and unwavering support has been invaluable to us. This college owes a great lot to you and your relentless support in supporting us in whatever manner and whatever manner uh, and you have been there. I extend my gratitude to Dr. A.K. Sharma Ario for providing us with valuable insights on a regular basis. With your continued support and guidance, I'm sure this both the colleges can play a very important role in in you know, enlightening or you can say uh, towards a mutual benefit for all public institutions. I also like to extend my thanks to the principal of Pulmin, Dr. Anitari, who couldn't be here with us for uh, because of his uh, busy schedule. I'm uh, the college is eternally thankful to Mr. V.K. Sareen FAO and his entire team for taking care of the accounts of the college so meticulously and cooperating in whatever manner. Big thanks to Mr. Adil Khan, head of the works unit, and his team for taking care of the small and big issues which keep on coming up every now and then. I'm extremely thankful to my team of office staff, Mr. Sisteo, Ms. Vidla, and uh, uh, Purnima. Uh, Mr. Thakur, who are there, and Pramila, our librarians, who are who are working with us to take in him. Uh, I would now like to extend a special thanks to Mr. Pushpender, the administrative officer, and his team, dedicated team. They have consistently demonstrated their commitment by efficiently addressing any administrative and needs and requirements related to the operation of computer systems, softwares website, ERP, uh, here are just a few things, but his cooperation extends much more, and we do not have time to enlist all of the uh, things that Mr. Pushpender is engaged with. And I'm very thankful to the three HODs, Dr. Shalini Gupta, HOD DL, Dr. Sulekha Ram, HOD DL, and Dr. Ritu Sharma, HOD DVDC. These three distinguished individuals 
serve as a bedrock on which the foundation of both the colleges very firmly rests. So I am very thankful to these, I mean, four core members, the administrative officer, along with the duties who are actually holding the fort. I wholeheartedly express my gratitude to every faculty member. They are putting their level best. They, they as they form the heart and soul of the college. Their tireless efforts for the improvement of college and welfare of our students is truly commendable. They have consistently gone above and beyond and ensure that each and every event which has been held in the college is nothing short of being less than remarkable. So thank you for your dedication and contribution. And it is because of their efforts that this entire setup looks like a family and feels like a family. Dear students, I want to express my sincere gratitude for your dedication and hard work. You people put in a lot of effort in many activities. At times you crave a lot, but please understand that this is for your own good. It is not for our own good. I wholeheartedly wish each and every one of you to continue success and fulfillment in all your endeavors. Keep striving for excellence and we may your journey be filled with valuable experiences and accomplishments. I'm sorry, I had to proceed very fast because of the time limitation. I think I, uh, uh, I have done, and in the end, I have to thank the Almighty. The gratitude to the benevolent force that guides us. Thank you, God, for assuring, assuring us and our extended families with your abundant blessings. With these, I, uh, I mean, thank you all for such a patient hearing. Thank you so much.